for the morning hours too. John, I do have a working theory. It's always, of course, a little cooler, closer to the lake shore. Yes. I'm assuming that's because you're in the city and thus it is cooler yeah. here, is that? That's because I'm cool that's, and yeah. you know I like 72 that's, and cloudy days. That's so. science right there. Yeah, there it is. All right, something not the least bit cool. Wildfire smoke. This is Nova Scotia. Yes. Canada has just been raw. Yeah, we booked and we booked end it this time. The other part of the continent, now this part of the continent, uh, seeing that and some of the smoke actually is backdooring into uh, parts of the Northeast and into Pennsylvania as well. Uh, I'm uh, hoping that our weather system will keep this from coming, but nonetheless. That's a road, although yeah. it's almost impossible yeah, to see. Yeah, we're talking about very dry air and high temperatures, and that's what we're seeing around the Great Lakes and this part of the, um, uh, the country of uh, Canada, of course, which is basically the Atlantic coast. Uh, yeah, it's not good, and uh, it looks like this could be a very interesting uh, summer season. Let's head to another part of the yeah. former British Commonwealth as we head to Australia if I can make this work. There we go. John, a building collapse here. Mercifully, Ooh. nobody badly oh. hurt, but that's unreal. Yeah, that's Just up in flames. You definitely don't want to be walking there for lunch, but nonetheless, it looks like it was already blocked off a little bit out there for us, but nonetheless, yeah. Well, they knew the fire was there, and then, yes. of course, the building. You get everybody yes. out because of that exact reason. Yeah, so that's why, you know, goodness, no that's why we're hurt. lucky, you know, we live in Erie. We don't have buildings that tall, so uh, that's a, right. well, it's not actually that tall of a building, but nonetheless. No, but even then, we've got the Renaissance Center, yes. and that's kind of it. Yeah. And then, John, kind of a fun one to end on here. This is not my day with the touch screen. Fourth time's the charm. Oh. There we go. This is the Indy 500, yes, yes. and those are bees. I heard about that. Yeah, they in at the uh, racetrack, but apparently all the uh, spectators, look at this. Yeah, just, they were just, just chilling. They're just sitting there in calm because they do realize we need the bees. Uh, we do have a, a reduced population of bees over the last decade. I mean, we're talking like 50 to 60 percent. That's not good. Uh, you need the bees to make your tomato plants that you're going to be planting uh, every if so soon. If plants don't pollinate, we don't exist. Exactly. So don't kill a bee. Let them fly around because remember, they're more important than us right now. <laughs> they got to get us some tomatoes. Well said, John. Yes. All right. When we come back, 